Hey guys, it's Andy. I'm going to walk you through the Guam DMV motorcycle license test uh, and everything that's in store. Uh, right off the bat, let me tell you, it's not that hard. Uh, this guy you see in front of you with the blue shirts, the instructor, he's really nice and he's been doing this a long time. I think he passed everybody today. Um, there was about 14 students in our class and uh, the class starts at 0700 on a Saturday. Now you have to get your ticket from the DMV a couple weeks in advance. I didn't think they were even going to call me back. Uh, I think it was like three weeks and then I got a text or, or a call or a message something and it was like, uh, will you be available to attend this test today? So I was like, yeah. And they're like, all right, come into the DMV and pick up your ticket. So all in all, this process took me about a month. Um, but I finally arrived here. We're all lined up at 0700 this morning. Now, around 645 I actually got there and gave this guy, the instructor here, uh, my license, registration, proof of insurance, and my ticket. Um, and then he verified everybody else's as well. And then we start. So my GoPro wasn't recording audio for the first half of this test. Uh, but it does halfway through later you'll get to hear everything right now he's walking up to me it's my turn to do a motorcycle inspection so he's gonna uh, check the motorcycle that all the um, functions and buttons and shit are working so first he has me turn it on hold down the ignition switch it turns on now I'm doing high beams and low beams for him next doing left turn signal cancel right turn signal cancel now he's gonna walk to the back and he wants to see the turn signals again um, since I had my helmet on, I couldn't hear him very well, and uh, he was he said something, left turn signal, and I was like, what? And then there, okay, I got a left turn signal, cancel, right turn signal, cancel, and he wanted the horn, so I beat the horn. I'm done now, so I turn off my bike. After the motorcycle inspection, there are five parts to this test. The first test consists of weaving in and out of cones, staying within these two white lines to the left and right. As you see, I'm weaving in and out of cones and staying within those faded white lines to the left and the right of the cones. You weave up, then you turn around, and you can take as big as a circle you want when you turn around. It doesn't matter. Then you can come back and weave in the cones. As you can see, the white lines on each side. Uh, if you hit the cone, you get a retry. Um, some people retried like six times, guys. So again, um, they're there to work with you. They really want to see if you've ever ridden a motorcycle in your life. If you have, you pass. It's that simple. I mean, it's not that simple because a lot of people struggled with obstacles. I myself did with the box turn, which is the next obstacle you'll see. Um, there's a plane going overhead right there. I thought I'd show you guys from the airport. Um, but everybody still passed somehow. Um, here is my buddy John doing the weaves right there. Um, but yeah, as long as you go out there with confidence and you give it your all, you don't give up or get frustrated or anything, uh, you can pass. Um, I wouldn't go out there if you've never ridden a bike, though, because uh, you could drop it and then it's an automatic failure. I heard the guy saying a story about they actually kept the bike at the DMV for like a month. Uh, they pretty much took the... Uh, bike from the person because they wrecked it on the course or something so you know just go out there when you have your experience and confidence man okay I'm gonna explain this fast this is the second obstacle you have to stay on the white line and do a manual left hand turn signal right now I'm sticking my left hand out all the way as you could see in the shadow or the mirror then you turn around and come back your goal was to stay on that white line and balance with one hand on your right handlebar while using your left hand to manually do turn signals. Now you're doing the right turn signal. As you can see in the mirror, my left mirror, uh, the right turn signal is the elbow bent, uh, hand up. And that was it. That was the second obstacle right there. Pretty easy, right? At first I was like, shit, what are the hand signals again? But I was glad I wasn't first in line. Okay, obstacle number three. He's standing out there in the center this time. You have to do three clockwise circles and three counterclockwise circles. While balancing, don't drop your bike or put your foot down. I put my foot down like eight times during this obstacle. It was pretty embarrassing. Everyone was watching, um, but I wasn't the only one. Now, I'm missing the box. If you can see it right now, uh, there's four corners lined up. It's not a full box drawn, just four corners, and I'm not even in the box. 
and he stops me. He's like, what are you doing? Well, he says it really nicely, honestly, and he's pointing to the box where it's actually at. And I'm like, oh, okay, there's the box. So I keep going. He doesn't automatically fail me or anything, guys. Uh, so then I try it again, you know, and I'm trying to lean the bike. I'm trying to do everything I can without dropping it. And I put my foot down every once in a while. Now, I'm not going to show this whole clip because it's pretty long. Like I said, I do this forever because he keeps giving me tries and tries and tries. Uh, eventually, I'll cut right to the chase. He says, give me one really good one, and that's all you need. And I did one perfect one. Uh, but I was leaned so far, man, and that bike is heavy, and I thought I was going to drop it, but I just went balls deep and got one perfect one. Uh, and then I did the uh, clockwise one as well. Here he actually talks to me, I think, and tells me something, but he works with you as long as you work with him. So here is where I come around for the clockwise circle, and he puts his finger up and says, give me one perfect one, just one. I know the bike's heavy. It's a 1,000 cc. It's hard to turn. Uh, so I do it. And uh, if you guys are on Guam, come up to the DMV on a Saturday or Sunday or something and find this box spray painted on the concrete uh, and practice in it. Now, um, even if you can't get it, you're still going to pass. Um, they want to see if you've ever turned a motorcycle before, if you know how to lean with it, if you are, you know, if it's your first day or not, basically. Um, that's what they're looking for, okay? Because not all these bikes can actually turn in that box. And I know people beg to differ, okay? Somebody's going to say, oh, you know, dun, 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 dun. But, um, yeah, they, they're really looking to see, have you ever ridden a freaking bike before? Are you going to put your foot down or are you going to drop it? Because what's better? Um, and then eventually, <laughs> I keep going around, man, but there he is. He says, all right, good to go. Um, so I go. Okay, the next course is the fourth course, and my GoPro is now recording audio in it, so I won't be talking much for the rest of the video now. The next course is called the 22nd Slow Balance Course. Depending on the size of your CC, you're going to start at point A, you must reach point B, which is the last goal, in 20 seconds. 20 seconds, okay? Not 21, not 22, not 18, not 19. Get down there at 20 seconds. Should your feet touch the ground, you start all over again. Should you drop your bike, that terminates the road test. It's an automatic bell. Any questions? Okay, again, I will direct you on what size your CC of your bike is, and that's where your start point is. Get down to that last goal in 20 seconds. Any questions? Okay, I'm losing, I forgot my stop 22nd balance, depending on your CC at those cones. <laughs> Hurry up, thank you. 20 seconds, okay? All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, again, that was the fourth course, the 20-second balance. He walks with you and yells out the numbers. Depending on the CC of your bike size, you're going to start at the yellow line or one of the two orange cones if it's smaller. They want to see if you have the clutch control, you can touch the brakes. Uh, are you going to drop your bike or not? Thanks. For the fifth and final course, he has everybody gather around. This is your last test. It's called the brake test. You're going to go 20 to 25 miles an hour. I'm going to be at that end down there. I'm going to wave my hands to you to go. When I drop my hand, that means brake. 20 to 25 miles an hour. Anything higher than that is at your own risk. 
shoot, you spill, or crash. Leave the bike. The bike's insured. I checked. I need to make sure <laughs> you guys are safe first. When I get up, let me get to you first. Make sure you're okay. Okay? All right. The bike is still or crash. 20 to 25 miles an hour. Go brake. Please do not use your front brakes first. Please do not use your front brakes first. I've seen a lot of spill on that. Use your rear brakes first. Then if you want your front, but if the rear can lock and stop you and can control your balance, you're good to go. You complete the test is when you come to a complete stop, both feet on the ground on a complete stop. I will tell you your go or no go. Understand? Yes, sir. Sure. Again, go brake. Doesn't mean speed up. Means I'm <laughs> over here. Don't hit me. Let me throw my hands on you, okay? So it's that simple guys, you just go out at 20 to 25 miles an hour and then when he puts his hand down you brake. <laughs> so during my emergency brake my ABS kicks in I also leave the clutch out and the bike dies. But I still bet. Alright. Fast. Good to go, he says. Good to go. So that's it, guys. That's the Guam Motorcycle DMV License Test. So what I was just doing for about 10 minutes was standing around with everybody and waiting for our certificates. After we all received our certificates in hand, uh, we're able to take those to the DMV mm -hmm. next week, because it's Saturday, and uh, get our license cards. That's it. So that's it guys, we passed the motorcycle DMV license test and uh, we're headed home now. So all in all, I was kind of nervous that I wouldn't pass or something, but definitely did. So yeah guys, when you wake up that morning, be prepared to be outside for three and a half hours in the Guam heat with your helmet and safety gear on, sweating your ass off. Hydrate, drink some coffee, take a poop, whatever you have to do. But you can pass the Guam motorcycle test. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe today for more of my motorcycle stuff and other stuff that I do. As always, ride safe and peace.